so this is my General Electric roll cord clock radio and this was a yard sale find and at that and I got it I bought it say about three and a half years ago and now it's 2020 so I had it since let's see 20 the end of 2016 sometime in November of 2016 and this was sitting on the the shelf in the carport with a price marked on it you wanna, you wanna know how much it was two dollars that's alright two dollars this thing is running like a champ and the only issue I had was the radio but the radio it, it would oh um, the stations were cut out but I got that repaired now it's working like ever that's my other I have two of these I got one here and one at my bed stand but I'm not gonna sh show y'all that right now so all right so you see enough at the front let's take a look at the side there's your little time instructions here there's your this does your time, this does the alarm. So, it's in this nice, okay ish, okay wood grain finish. It's pretty though. There's your alarm options. Like the music or alarm. I, I don't really use this that much. So, once well, there's the time rolling, you might have seen it at the beginning of the video. There's, here's the side. This goes to radio. I have it on FM. This is AM. You flip it to AM. This does the volume. This does the station. So, and it did have it did have some tape on the screen when I got it because the old one, old, the one that broke off, dried up plastic. So, all right, I'm gonna turn the radio on for you. There you go. It takes about a second to turn on. And it works. And there's a little light in there. There you go, you can see it now. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up nicely, but there's a little red light in there that shows the time here's your alarm right here your little your alarm options right there all right let's take a look at the bottom just this, this is there's the model number 7-4305a date code there's nothing there quality checks okay, mark twice Expired warranty protection. There's the top for you. There's your speaker right here. And here's whatever this is a little vent for the motor. Because whenever I turn the radio on, it does put out heat and it does that. And not doesn't put out heat, but it puts a little bit of heat right here. But not a big deal. Alrighty. Here's the back part. There's vents right here. Goes to the motor. So there's the electricals in there. There's the cord. There's nothing special about the bag. Okay, let's turn the radio on again. And let's switch to a different station. I gotta get this light out. Of, there you go. Light out of my way. The radio's working excellent now. It didn't work that good when I got it, but now it's working a whole lot better. Cause I yeah, I, re I took it apart and I repaired it.
Yeah. Need to get that light out of the, the glare out of the way. Maybe it's been a I'm not sure what station that is. So the light's not helping at all. AM works? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the classic blues station. So that's what I have on the AM over there. Well, I will post a video of my clock radio collection very soon. Well, let's go back to FM. Eastern, uh, and of course you move from a power five. Perfect. No, there's your General Electric logo. But the screen has, well, there's a the little bit of a tape mark here because there was a, the price price tag. Okie dokie. All right, let's take a look at the bottom one more time, but I'm going to end this video. See, 120 volts, AC, 20, not 620, 60 hertz, 9 watts input. It doesn't have a date code, that's all right. There's your little warning sign there, but I don't really care. Quality checks. So I I'm not 100% sure what that means. And I will put... Okay, there, there you go. Now you can see it a little bit. The light that goes on the... There's a little the clock. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will upload more soon. I'll upload a video of my collection very soon. Thanks for watching.